yeah, I could sleep with that storm. I had to actually put earplugs on. At least it gave me a good sound that I could record to make some music with. Hey there, I'm Jonas. I like the idea that music can be made wherever you are, wherever you go. And that's why I use my phone for a lot of the recording I do. This is why I was really interested when Andrew Wong, who is a YouTuber musician who you might know, just released an app called Flip for iPhone and he's developing it for Android as well. The idea of this app is really to be able to, to record sounds wherever you are, just with your, your phone's microphone or with an external microphone like this uh, plugged into your phone. And this means you can be really spontaneous, record sounds anywhere you are. And this, there was this storm yesterday. I'll use this as a background if, on the music. Now I'll record some other instruments, including didgeridoo and many little world instruments and Tibetan bowls and things and record them into the app. The storm has now stopped. Sunny now. And it started snowing, actually. It got sunny and it's just snowing as we speak for Christmas. Have some people walking back there. It's a great day to make some music. Let's record some sounds. <laughs> Here's my setup, it's really simple. A shotgun microphone plugged with an XLR cable into the interface, which in this case is just a simple iRig, but you have the double duo version like uh, Andrew Huang was talking about, um, which allows you to put in two microphones, which is pretty cool here. I've just got one, which is enough to, to record some simple sounds like this. And this is plugged with a lightning cable straight into the phone so you can record high quality sound directly into your phone. So here we are next day, same shirt, because who cares? Uh, the snow is completely crazy, look at that. Out the window, snow. And I had a lot of fun recording uh, many different sounds with this Flip app and making them into music. What I ended up doing, using Flip to make a sort of jam track onto which I can improvise with a didgeridoo or voice or anything I want. And I can like play live. I like this idea of like using the app to, to really play something live. So I can play live using all these sounds that I've recorded and activating some different loops that I've made inside it. So here's the honest review part of the, of the video or I guess feature request part of the video for Andrew Hong and his developer team. If you're not interested in interested in this, uh, you can just skip over it by double tapping on the right side of your of the video. If you're on your if you're watching YouTube on your phone, if you're on the computer, just tap a few times on the right arrow. If you didn't know, that's how you skip over boring parts of videos. So to be honest, it's not completely my favorite type of workflow as it is right now, because I like workflows where uh, the thought comes into your mind. The music comes into your mind and it's out, it's looped, it's music. And you can use it to, to record everything from scratch live. And so I like loopers and there are several looper apps on, on Android, but maybe a flip could include a looper. I mean, the pads are great. They're a great feature, but it would be nice to have both. Maybe, I don't know if that's possible, but that's one feature request. I'll switch over to app view to show you guys. So here is the app with my different little sounds that I've recorded. You've got this menu off to the right where you have the different tools to which allow you to access and to use the, the sounds that you've recorded in different ways. There, it's pretty intuitive. I would, uh, as I've said, I would love to have an extra looper tool so you could do some live sound looping uh, alongside your pads that you're using here. I like that there's a little question mark menu here which allows you to tap on anything it tells you what it does. So that's pretty handy to when you're learning to use the app. I have to say, I'd like it would be uh, here on the left, you know, you have the recording. This just plays the performance. And at the same time, oh, oh, oh. at the same time, it, um, yeah, it records it every, it records everything as sound and uh, you can get a sound file thanks to this and share it and whatever. This is great, but it would be great to have to have it be able to record the microphone input. See, it just records what's coming out of your pads 
uh, which you know for live per if you want to record a live performance or anything then you you'll really want it to record the microphone as well the input so that would be great then uh, there's the pitch detection which is uh, actually potentially a great feature that this app has w will have is that it tries to detect the pitch if whatever you've recorded into it and this way it can put it on the keyboard the problem with this is that um, uh, it actually it's so far it doesn't really detect it so for example even the shruti here which is just basically you know this in Indian instrument which just plays one note well even here it didn't really manage to detect it was supposed to be a C so it's it's not so good at detecting the pitch yet but I'm sure that that'll get much better with upcoming versions then there's audio units um, and I know many people have asked this but this would be so great for each of the sounds that you've recorded you can put some effects that are here and that come along with the app this is great but if you could add in some external audio units unit plugins you know uh, people who have been making music on iOS for years have bought many plugins over the years and being able to use them would just allow you to do so many extra things actually the best recent the best modern apps that are coming out now that I prefer are sort of a hybrid this would be the best you know you can use audio unit plugins inside them like here as effects but you can also use the app here you could you flip you could use flip inside a host as an audio unit as well so it goes both ways you can either use flip inside a host as an audio unit or you can use audio units inside flip as effects that would just be ideal it's you can't do both at the same time because uh, ios only accepts one or the other but the best apps have both possibilities and this way you could use it alongside other tools like a looper or whatever and you could really uh, yeah it would open up so many extra possibilities uh, next is one shot mode yeah i think that's the my fi final <laughs> request if if i may it would be one shot mode um i haven't found this maybe it's somewhere it's accessible somehow but for every sound every pad you can you know it just plays basically while you're pressing it and then when you stop when you let go you can choose how it fades out but you can't there's no uh i haven't found a one shot mode where you would just pre pa press on it and it just plays the whole recording like uh like a uh, koala sampler for example this app has has this this feature it would just be a simple little feature but would be great for some some for playing longer sounds and things like that anyway i think that's basically it for my for my uh little suggestions and i hope that uh that it helps out let's get to the to the song
Oh, 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 oh,